Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. I have updated the mod pack to version 2.8.2. Uh, some bits I think are a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> like the like the mini-map, I don't like this at all. Uh, anyway, I shall tr see if I can find a way to put back Zero's maps, because I actually like those. Anyway, also I have disabled the tree farm as you can see behind me. It's not farming, uh, it's not jumping down the trees. Very easy to do, just remove the saplings and that it doesn't start. Um, other than that, let's get started with some better end. Well, actually, let's start with this one, because I've forgotten to look at this. Uh, we have got reasonable amount of iridium. Let's just sort this chest, and you can see how much we have. We have, where is it now? One, two, almost three stacks of iridium ore from one mining session. That's not bad at all. And this is... I put some diamond ones in because the uh, iron ones were getting almost completely worn out and I added these energy efficiency enhancers. It didn't make any difference with the 274 version of the, the pack, but this version it is definitely they actually work. <laughs> I think that's the case. So I'm going to move this contraption to the nether. We shall do some mining in the nether. But to start with, let's start with this one here. In here I have got some sulfuric rock slabs very easy the recipe for these just like any other stack just to put some sulfuric rock there are about three or four different types of rock we can use for this let's have a look at this um pedestal so we can use flavorite flavorite the loss of light <laughs> sulfuric rock pedestals vivid jade stem pedestals Azure jade stone pedestals, sandy jade stone pedestals, uh, anthracite pedestals, is that just an overworld one? Is that just with polished anthracite? Okay, we can do that. Detrite, granite, uh, purple blocks. Oh, those are the different ones. We can use any of those for this en uh, enchanting that we're going to do. So we're going to use the sulfuric rock ones from that, from that. And those produce pillars. So I've got eight pillars. If I put the pillars between here, between two more sets of slabs, we will get... Oh, I don't need half of this, actually, to be honest with you. We'll take all of them. We only need four. So I've doubled up the quantities. I forgot that this doubled up. Never mind. I have a use for them, anyway. So the next thing we're going to have a look at is the recipes. So here's one recipe here. So I might, I'll move this map out of the way. It seems to be high, showing up when I don't want it to. The crystal shards we got last time. Uh, Hydrolux, no, the previous time. And also these Hydrolux petals we got the previous time if we put those onto the pedestals like this we will get an enchanted hydraulic pedestal uh, and then we come along here and we've got an anvil a book two bottles of enchanting four lapis lazuli and then we put the enchanted petal here it has to be north facing we will get an amending book amending so let's get started with that shall we in fact i'll take those with me otherwise it gives you white dye did you notice that um, I haven't got enough inventory space. Let me just put these ores away. Got to say, I'm very impressed with that particular <coughs> that particular stuff. It's, it's done quite a lot. A lot of ore for what 7.9 percent, and some of the the veins I've seen recently have huge. Well, I've already set this up. <coughs> In fact, I didn't craft. The, that recipe either. It is prepared. I don't know why I didn't do it. This is the infusion pedestal. I've got one, don't need another. And the pearls, two obsidian and eye vendor. And that makes that one. <clears throat> so here we have the setup. And here I've already got prepared this. Here, so all we need to do is put another crystal shard on here like this. And it, as you do it, it automatically starts and gives you this uh, animation. And here we have the petal. You right click to take it off. Let's just move that out of the way and right click to take it off. Like that. So now you can have a look at the let's have a look at the uses of anvil, probably because that's the only one that we've actually got. So yes indeed. So with an anvil, you've got an anvil recipe for anvil. For better end we can make oh, okay, we can make special stuff with it. So here's north and that's important. So the petal goes north and the anvil goes south and the rest go east west and the corner is fairly straightforward now north according to the map is this direction so the petal goes on here I, the first time i did this it didn't work so i'm wondering why not the animal goes on the opposite end uh, the two bottles of chanting go here and here 
and then the lapis lazuli go around the edges like this, or on the diagonals. As soon as I do that, it should start to work. Oh, of course, I need a book. I haven't got a book. Um, I've got a book with me. Because we need to enchant the book, so there we go. And it, multicolored as well, so there we go. What I'm going to do with this book, as I'm not 100% sure at the moment, but we'll find a use for it. And it takes a certain amount of time too. I think it was 275 seconds or something like that. There we go, it's done. So we've got an enchanted book. And if we actually check, look at that recipe again. The uses, of, oh, actually I need the use of the anvil, didn't I? The uses of here. It, each one of these has got t time, actually. This is 300, must be 300 ticks. Otherwise it would be very long. As you can see, you can get different things for different periods of time. Which was the one, I think it's about page something like, it's fairly easy to see, here we go. This is 375, so that's one of the longer enchants. So that's it. There's really actually not much more to do on that one. Just different recipes of the same thing here. I also, I'm not sure I showed you this last time, but I, I also put the Hydrolux petals and some glass here like this. It's night time, I'll be back in a second. So here we are, let's just go into the water and have a look down here. You can see what they look like better now. So these are fully grown ones. These are, these are half opened and this is an unopened Hydrolux. And you just break those with a... Uh, some shears. Actually, I think I used right. I think I used this one last time. That's um, silk touch, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that works too. Let's just test it. Yeah, indeed it does. Look, I've got a I've got a petal here, and I've got another a seedling, and I've got two petals. So that works as well as shears, by the way. And this here is um, glowstone glass, which is supposed to give out light. It's great. Let's go down there. I should leave that for the time being. I'm... And this was, here was an attempt. I was trying to get some water into the system. Actually, it's very easy. Last time I did this in the previous version of this, when I did, when I used an annihilation, I'm just looking for some, I haven't got it with me. When I, when I was using an annihilation um, plane here, it sucked up all of the water. Now it works correctly as it should do. That's a fix. There've been quite a few fixes. Um, but I've been extending the uh, AE2 system quite a lot just recently, as you can see here. The interesting ones to craft are probably these to start with. So the inscribers, because we always need processes for almost anything we make in here. So what here is I've got some ME interfaces. Uh, this one here is an export bus. And this one here is also uh, an import bus. But underneath here, there is yet another export bus uh, just you get to the right place, shift it, look at it. another export bus here. And what they're doing is this one's exporting printed circuits. This one will be exporting redstone. And this one will be uh, on the top, will be exporting whatever the recipe is. At the moment, I've got two recipes. So let's do another one of these recipes for the engineering press and the silicon press. I think that's probably what I'd like to do to, to concentrate a bit on today. So, um, I'm not sure if we've got any in stock. Let me just have a look. I've got, I've got, oh yes, I've got some processes here. Good, I've got this one. Let's just take those out. I've, a bit laggy as well, as you may notice. Oh, I don't need that one. That's not the one. What's this one here like this? Cool. It's extremely laggy at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'll have a printed circuit. No, that's the only ones we've got at the moment. Uh, but we've probably got some silicon in here and some diamonds. Let's have a look. No, I don't have any silicon. I have to make some silicon and some diamonds. We've got six diamonds. So one of these will do in here. Um, this was just access so I can see what what number of ch how many channels each of these particular sides have got. So as you can see, this has got two channels going this direction. That goes over here basically to these two items here one to the import bus underneath here and one to the uh, me interface on here which is just a compressor the compressor is just a second compressor because i ran out of compressor recipes <laughs> which of course you will do in fact what we haven't looked at so far is how much uu matter we've got from the system that we've put up it's not as good uh, as um oops i'm there 
Let's do that again. It's not 139, and we need six. So that gives you about it's around about 20. Or if you look at the uses of it, these, in order to get the um, which chromium is quite a good one, but again, it, it's six pieces of this, so there's 20. Uh, in fact, they're all around about, except for the cheap ones, of course. Lead dust. And where has it gone to? I'm not really sure which page it was, but it'll be coal dust because it's only got two. Oh, it must be down further. Iridium, oh, I don't see it. But we can look it up. not here we have to look at here actually depends on what setting you've got to tap and the one I prefer is this one here. so the recipe for this one doesn't show me the recipe for some reason oh it took a long time so it, I must have picked up the wrong one ah oh, maybe it's an ingot industrial grinder I'm not seeing the recipe for the for the this one, that's strange. It is definitely here, because I've been making it. And I'm sure it's the ore as well. Ah, oh, there's two different types of ore. Yes, that reminds me. Yes, there we go. So it's six pieces like that gives us one ore. So that gives you 20 after the same amount of time where I've got three three stacks from that one. So there's a lot of difference. But this one works forever. That one I have to go and manually go and put somewhere. And it uses diamonds as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a thing. You can make your choice of your own choices to it with it so what was i trying to do make some circuits wasn't i so we need to go to processing recipes here you've probably seen this already so one diamond will make one engine printed engineering circuit so we can program that one in we needed some silicon let's go and get some silicon made um that's just dust well, maybe we can craft it in here actually I haven't got a crafting recipe for this yet. Oh, okay. I haven't got a crafting recipe for this one yet. Never mind. Uh, let's have a look. Quartz. We can craft some quartz dust. We cook the crop crust. So let's just craft two of these for what we need to, for now. We need one to actually. No processes available. What's wrong with this? Got something running on here. Oh, yes. I was trying to make buckets. I'll come to that another time, I think, because I haven't figured it out yet. Let's craft two of these. Start. But that's actually stayed over the games, so over the game restart. So while that's doing that, let's just put this into here. So the engineering press will be the third one down, which is this one here, like this. The recipe is this one. And all we have to do is put it into here, stored items. I'm not doing anything complicated at the moment. So we should be able to request one of those. Let's do that. I think the quartz will already be made by now, so it's quartz just too good. Let's put that away and then request one of these printed circuit or engineering circuits. And we craft one of these. Next, so it might not work. We'll see. Uh, I might have to reconfigure the the stuff. So it is crafting that, which is good. So that will be in here, and then it will come out the other side here, and it will be picked up by this. Uh, import bus so that will now be empty I see that's in the engineering press so but the order the fate the way these are facing is important you have to make sure that they um, they're all facing as well they don't have to be but so long as it, the opening is opposite well opposite to the court uh, to the sides you want the sides here and you want the fronts that they are you can't actually see but you can click this one here so we'll do the same thing for this so we get two recipes for this uh, let's get those two recipes done. So we've got one of those now. So what we need to now make is the processor. Let's do that. But before we do that, let's get the silicon doing because that's always slow. Um, I need to cut one of these, don't I? Pulverize that furnace. And then we should have some silicon dust. Come in a second, I think, and we should pick it up like that. So we have the next processing recipe, so let's get that one done as well. Hopefully I've got enough patterns. Three, I should have, yes. 
So that, that one's fine, that works just, just fine. So the next one we want to do is we want to take this one here and this is um, three quartz dust and we'll make a processing pattern here. In fact, I can put those up there, I don't need those anymore. Like that. And this is one that goes into the furnace. Now, it's possible that it works in... There's two furnaces here. There's this one and this one. Um, this one's got the blast furnace enhancer. Now, it, things don't always work in the blast furnace enhancer. But let's just see if it does work. So we take this out of here. Uh, no, I want the circle out of here, don't I? Actually, I do want this, in fact. Let's see if we can... Silicon. Tell you what we'll do. Two things we'll do. We'll make this one, we'll lay, give this one a new label. That's something I haven't done yet. And I've been intending to do that for a, part, a couple of episodes. So let's do that one, first of all. First of all, I'll just clean out my inventory in the back in a second. So let's get this next processing recipe done. Um, I want to name that thing. I've, I've prepared that already, but let's just do this. So the next one we want to make is the, clear that off. We want to make use the silicon to make a silicon press like this, a cemented silicon. Like that. And that'll make one of those, which is fine. So we can go and put that into the into the same place over here. For, of course, we need this in the silicon presser side. So let's put that into here. Shift and it'll sh you can shift click it in, and you can shift click to see it. So that goes in there. Now, in my chest that I store my applied energistic stuff, I have got a nameplate, which are called blast furnace. And the way you make nameplates, and if I've got the tool with me. This is one of these new mods which, I'm, which is driving me bonkers. That actually hit, hit me from quite a long way back. Happened, looks weird. Can't see how that's happening. Oh, yeah. yeah, got it. <laughs> Since they're spawning inside the area, I don't like them. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Right, so blast furnace. In, in my backpack, I will have the tools I need for that. I think, yes, I've got a, another quartz cutting knife. And I need a piece of iron. Like that. And then we can open up, just put this into a hot bar here like this. And then you can right click it. And it opens up this interface. You can put a piece of iron in it. And then you can start typing. So, for example, we might have um, compressor 2. Can't spell. 2. And then we just simply. Click this like this, and it takes a bit of damage on the thing. This is now called compressor too. So, so then I can go and use these, for example, oh, for get, get the other hand. So for example, blast furnace. And what it does, let's have a look at it first of all in here. This is the uh, terminal interface. So we'll see here, we shall see two electric furnaces, Mark 1. We've actually got a compressor Mark 2 and a compressor Mark 1. I will cover that in a, in a short while. But... For example, one of these is a blast furnace and the other one isn't. And the reason it's important, so I want to label the one that's a, this one is a blast furnace. So I shift right click on the label on it, I think. I do. <laughs> oh. I thought I should shift right click this on here. That's strange. I don't know why that's not working. I'm sure you could do that. In fact, I'm sure. But then, don't forget, this mod is in alpha stage applied energistic, so maybe it's not doesn't work on these machines, which is strange. I'm sure it did work before, as it happens. Ha! Huh. Uh, that that I don't understand. Does it work on the diamond chest? No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to work at all. Ha! Huh. Anyway, this is compressor mark one. Uh, if I can pull it, press it too, does it work? I doubt it. Not working today. I think that worked in seven one seven ten as it happened. Only what would happen if it was working is it would then change the name of this. Uh, yeah, sorry, wrong place on the interface terminal up here. It would change the ne name of these compressors here, so you'd know which one was which. Right. So what I wanted to check is whether or not if I could put this into the blast furnace, one with the blast furnace or the other one. And you can't always. So let's get some quartz out again. And it's good to know which one you can put it in. So let's try this in here. If it works. See, this one doesn't work. So this has got to be in the furnace and not in the blast furnace one. 
So that when you put it into the sorry, the wrong one. If I put it into the standard furnace without any upgrade, this does work. As you see. So let's just do that and make sure that that recipe goes into the right place. Actually, that was quite a good one. I was pleased with that. So here are the items you can't, well, stone, glass, uh, electron you probably can, but I forgot. I didn't have that running at the time, so we can put it in there. We should now be able to make some quartz, um, some silicon. Let's see if we can. Let's take away these 10 here uh, and we should be able to craft one. It's already got that, so let's cancel that and make, make it more. How many have we got here? Two. Let's take those out of there and then craft one of those. So it needs one nether quartz to make dust, cooks the dust to make silicon. So that's the four steps required for that. And then we can look on here and it'll tell you what it's doing. So it's making the, uh, grinding the nether quartz to make some dust. Once that's done, it's then going to be smelting it to make that. And then it's finished, it's going to put it into the silicon press over here. And we should see it coming in. There we go. And then it'll make that and it'll go out into the system. Ah, like that. So let's have a look at this now. We should be able to see silicon in here. We have one more being created. So that's how it works. That was very easy to do. The, the last one over here is slightly more interesting. You have to put all of the recipes in. So we need to make those two recipes. Actually, I need to make one recipe just for the engineering one. So for the engineering plate, all we need to do is we need to put one of these here. And then we I haven't got a spell one, as you can see. But what we can do is we can simply process it. If you're short of materials, so for example, if I put this into here now, shift click that in, it will make an engineering circuit and it's got taken out and put into the system, as you saw, through the import bus. And if I look for engineering circuits in here now, I have got one. Made. Fantastic. So what we can then do with this, oops, is we can then go and finish that recipe off. Like that. And then put this recipe down and then we can come along here and put this recipe into the I mean interface up so the, the bigger one just coming so I don't, right. so we put that into there like that and that's done now the next thing I wanted to do and I'm I'm going to do it anyway but last time it caused my game to crash and I never got it back up again so it's something I've got to be careful with so here I've got a space. Let's just, I've probably got mining fatigue. No, not here. Here I've got some cables coming in. So maybe I'll use one of these cables here. Actually, I'll use this one down here like that. Now, let's break that one as two. So what I want to do now is I want to use, keep a stock of these items. That's an important task. And it's last time I did this, this screen went blank. And it was became very unreliable so I haven't actually crafted one of these yet oh, well, let's just do that as well by the way make sure that's working craft one of those it's we've already got one made so we don't need to make another one and let's see what's going on uh, it's already done as you saw we got that work so that's working just fine so to keep a stock of these items in uh, get rid of that as well these are these gels which come from uh, these slimes that they keep appearing. So right, okay, so now stock. What we need is or two things. We need an enemy interface. Which I haven't got one of free, so let's just craft one of those. I've got enough materials, so we can do that one. And I also want an Emmy storage bus. Actually, I probably have got this when I think about it. If they have got them, they'll be in here. Emmy interfaces that I don't seem to have. Oh, I've got one, look. Could really use that one. And an Emmy storage bus. I've got eight of those. And that's an Emmy fluid interface. We'll come to that another day, I think. When I've worked it out, we'll come to how to, how to do the Emmy fluid interfaces because I'm not 100% sure yet. 
So let's just craft this to a full size square. And we need some cables as well. So let's get some cables out of here. I've got 11, let's take five or six will be more than enough for one. So I think we need three. So to keep, in order to keep a stock of items, you put down an ME interface. This is a good place to put it. It doesn't matter because one block below ground is just fine. Now let's just put it on here like that. And then that connects into here as you saw. So what we want to do on here is we want to put a storage bus. So let's do that. Just click that into the hot bar and then shift. Right click it on there. And then you've got a storage bus. There is one more thing we need. And that is a uh, crafting card. Crafting cards I've got a couple I think but they'll be in the system. No, I don't. Oh, no, in the here. And the recipe for those are basically a crafting table and a basic circuit. Basic circuit we covered previously was uh, iron or thalesium, gold, and redstone with a calculation process. So it makes two of these basic cards. So I've got these two. We just need to put one of those into this, which is night time again. You can shift click it in. Uh, actually, one went in and one went into the system, as you saw. So all you need to do now is have a number of items. So let's go and get the items we want to put into there. So for example, let's store uh, four. This is actually the wrong type of terminal, but it doesn't make any difference. We can get the items out of the um, pattern terminal anyway. So let's have a look for processes. We've got two of those. Take diamond ones, logic ones, and nine calculation ones. And then we put these into here. And what if, if I remember rightly, we don't have to have the exact numbers. So what you do is you put this into here like this. And you can right click it and it'll make two. So we keep, let's keep four in stock all the time. When you're finished, you can put it there and it'll do that. Same, we'll do the same for the um, logic processes. So it's going to start crafting now. And we'll do, um, just have a couple of engineering processes in here, I think. And it probably triggered a key, uh, an option to go and craft. Let's go and check that out. The easiest way to do that is here. And you can see what's being processed here. So at the moment, it's making these uh, logic processes that's done. And then when that's finished, it's finished. So let's have a look at this. So, so over here, see, we should have four, two, and two. So that's working just fine. So my problem before has seems to be okay. It's night time, I'll be back in a second. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.